Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ran. Welcome back to the 100% playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Last episode, we started on Carnal Sins, which is a quest we got because Priscilla got injured and we need to figure out who did this. And we need to follow Joachim von Graz through the sewers. Through the very dark sewers, might I add. For a while. Draw your weapon. And we need to go to the morgue to do an autopsy <laughs> on one of the other victims of whoever did this. Drowners, I feel there might be more a water hack. Sydney <laughs> truly does wonders with this one. More drowners up ahead. Sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? Mm. I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Oh, that doesn't sound good. At least not for... Okay, Geralt, sure. <laughs> It doesn't sound good, least of all for Priscilla. And it looks like we are at the morgue. Take the ladder. And it sounds like this guy really knows his way around the sewers. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Dwarven woodcarver. Uh, that's a witch hunter. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Now we have a lady. Human. Wrong body type. Why does Human. neither Wrong of them type. comment on the probably horrible smell the corpses are emitting especially Geralt because he has heightened witcher senses and all uh, looks like this counts as if we already found out about her one shall become of Temeria. And we have this guy. This isn't it. And we also have missing subtitles, which is very nice. And here we are. Portrayal. Calluses on the oh, fingers. No. Sawdust in the beard. Clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. I didn't think Excellent. this was the guy. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Uh, let's start with the head. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Oh. Uh, let's examine the eye sockets. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Ugh. Uh, look in his mouth. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. 
just like Priscilla's. And his larynx has been cut. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Okay, let's look at something else. Let's look at the torso. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Uh, let's examine the chest wound. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Oh. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. What about the scar? Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. And his abdomen next? Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat's scalded. Let's examine something else again. Uh, hands. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Hmm, what about the legs? See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard, right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons. We've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And a different sense of humor. Oh, uh, genitals? Sure. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Alright, we know enough. Alright, think I know enough. Maybe even Lighten too much. Me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Uh, this was a l ritual murder. This was punishment. No motive. Murders matter. Rather not share my conclusion. I mean, this this was punishment, but punishment can be exerted in other ways. I kind of feel this was a ritual murder, first and foremost. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. 
And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. You'll be here shortly. I'll take it you two know each other. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. Um, and not very well. Um, You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. This guy is younger than our guy. And, and, and... Something's not right here. No, something's definitely not right here. Woodcarver's body, where was it found? Woodcarver's body? Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but... They're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. So... Nathaniel, who is he? Nathaniel? Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Could have told me you know the coroner. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Will impress you, I decide when I've heard enough. Uh I mean I don't want to pressure him if he doesn't want to say don't he doesn't want to say. You. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. You've got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. <laughs> oh my god, Gerald. But yeah, how come Hubert is younger than you or him? And, hmm. Yeah, very, very, very curious. Now we have a... Ah, that's the corpse collector, Eustace. Uh, in that case, let's talk to him. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no what? Uh, one of them, right? 
No purse neither, as I recall. Collected other bodies with those injuries? One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. Well, you searched him? You searched Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Oh boy, what was in his pockets? Tell me. Tell me what you found here. Some coin. I advise you not to piss me off. Let's go the easiest route. And the most harmless route, too. With Axie. Tom, what did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Oh boy. Oh buddy, you did this to yourself. Boy, fucking hell. What was that for? Everything? For everything. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, investigate the alley where Priscilla was attacked using your Witcher senses. Oh. We'll definitely do just that. Oh, actually, this is closer, so let's try and investigate here first. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much lay down. Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming creatures. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raises fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. Well, so you are. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Uh, no much about the murder. Tell me what you know about the murder. In order. In detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. In Novigrad, folk give bleat orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Hmm. Your brother have any enemies? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? 
'twas Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Mm -hmm. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawns said a fever took her. Oh, we've talked enough. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Oh, okay. There's a lot to take in over here. Definitely a lot. There is something to concern citizens' sermon. What is this? A script? Oh, that's from Dandelion Monstrum. Or a portrayal of Witcher's Volume 1. We actually didn't read that. Okay. In truth, there is no more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witcher. They are the offspring of foul sorcery and witchcraft. They are veritable scoundrels without conscience and virtue, unscrupulous creatures of hell able to only take lives. They have no place amongst decent and honest folk. And this keep, this care Moorhen, where the villains nest and practice their foul rituals must be wiped from the earth, all traces of it treated with salt and saltpeter to complete the deed. Hmm. As for the concerned citizen's sermon, Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames, fire can prepare our nourishment, fire can drive off the horrors of the dark, yet fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. This is why we must live in harmony, harmony with eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life and its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds, concerned citizen. Hmm. Then we have this over Statues here. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Let's grab the bags. This as well. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. And then this. Murderer dragged something heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since. Since they found Fabian. I'll open it for you if you want. Would be really, really helpful. Thank you. Okay, there's blood stains. Eyes. Humanoid. Oh. Completely rotten. Never mind, not blood stains. Something more horrible. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. More blood stains. But not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless. Somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Oh. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Nothing here. Okay, one last stop is the alley where Priscilla was attacked. Oh, that seems very close. Yeah. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Um, absolutely, oh. absolutely. But we need to first do this. Oh. Hey, handsome. You scared? Do it yourself, dwarven. Blah blah blah. 
the usual stuff, just alcohol. Got a problem. No, no problem. No problem at all. I'm just here, you know, looting. A brazier. This time of year. Okay. Man's footprint. The murderers, maybe. Wait what on his heel. He does. Took a step back. Human. Priscilla's. Okay. Why do you want to attack me? gonna hurt you what are you doing here getting vengeance well why are you staring have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for priscilla almost did her in the whole sun i know here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something fear i can't help you much but i can tell you what i know okay you and priscilla were friends you and priscilla friends friends Nah, but she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. And Priscilla wasn't the sole victim, do you know that? Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Oh. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. We are not done oh, here just yeah, yet. There's formaldehyde. I know that smell formaldehyde and then we have murderer fled before the guards arrived ran this way and then concert citizen sermon uh... oh this is something else remember good people that light cast by the fire dispels every darkness reveals each light exposes every unworthy and debauched soul not even shape-shifting dopplers can hide from its light, not even witches and sorceresses so adept at fooling the common folk, nor the loose women who walk the streets and fog men's minds with their charms. Abandon then the treacherous and immoral magic arcane, cover your bodies and modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts, and the eternal fire will expose for you all monsters and sinners or else burn you too in its flames concerned citizen trail ends here strange even i couldn't jump this wall hmm well there's a lot to essentially unwrap but we do need to talk to the coroner And I have no clue where the corner is, or at least how to get to it back. Oh, concerned citizen sermon. Remember, dear people, that a fire once lit cannot be stopped; that it consumes everything in its path, and only ceases to rage once all has been turned to ash. Men cannot flee this element, and if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash. Search then your conscience and live 
in accordance with the church's what what the church's dictates before the time for penance has passed. So it seems these like pamphlets pamphlets are scattered sick around sick town as well. Welcome, Master Witcher. Hello. Ah, I can at least loot now. Finish looting. Never Get mind. Off, right? <laughs> glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. You're here. Okay, you and von Gratz don't get along. Why? By the way, you and von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. You look a little young to be Von Gratz's teacher. True that. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Mmm, there's something more about you, dear sir. Who's the victim? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. And you and Nathaniel don't get along? Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. Well, let's start with the autopsy. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with. Gotta find her now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Patricia Vagelbud. Letter found on your Aquinas' body. It's right. just Patricia Vagelbud. Till next time, Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Till next time. We need to rush now immediately to the fast travel point. I probably could have grabbed the shortcut through there, but it's fine. This is also quite the lengthy quest, isn't it? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see what we can do. If we can save Patricia the Eagle Bud. Um, hello? What do you want? I need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. 
Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. A murderer has marked Patricia as his next victim. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Uh, we need to hurry, yes, but we also need to, you know, loot. I don't think we ever get the chance to come here again, so... You know. We do what we have to. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. You guys, eh? Halt! For I put a bolt between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Might have gotten bored of whores and beggars because she's blasphemed the eternal fire. It all seems connected to the eternal fire, yeah. Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, the only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid. I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Oh dear, oh dear. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. 
Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Hmm. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get okay. to crippled Kate's, fast. Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path, sparing no one and stopping for nothing. The fire burns all sinners alike, be they paupers or princes, men or non-humans, weak or powerful. Whoever breaks its commandments, whoever does not heed the church's counsel, whoever worships false gods, the same shall be turned to ash in its flame. Live then in the truth of the eternal fire. Listen to its holy men, for they are your shepherd. Mm. Sweet Nettie at Crippled Kate. Oh, poor Ingrid, though. That's one way to do it, Geralt. Good job. But yeah, poor Ingrid. I do like her actually as a character. She seems very, very almost down to earth for a noble, you know, kind of reasonable, the one you can talk to that's not just, oh, I'm a noble, respect me type of deal. But yeah, let's take another fast travel just to save up on some time. Uh, Crippled Kate's, I think Hierarch Square, actually Port Side would be Port Side Hierarch Square. Ah, uh, let's go through the Hierarch Square. And let's go to Crippled Kate's. I think I saw another sermon from the corner of my eye, but if we hurry up, we might be able to save Sweet Nettie. So let's go in here. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. I'm not gonna listen to you, dude, anyway. Up the stairs again. Over here, over here, over here. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Okay, try an asshole first. I gotta know why. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Come listen to the shit. Senior victims, you never stop at that. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims, I know how they end. You don't stop, not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. You almost convinced me, so who left the letter on Patricia's body? So Nathaniel isn't the one. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? Leave her alone. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes. I will. Good boy. Uh, can we untie her? No. But we now know that Hubert's the one doing all of this. Oh boy, go to the warehouse near the port. Can we go through here? We can. Hey boy, help me! A key? Is this for this lock Ooh. key required? Interesting, so we have a key that unlocks something, but we don't know what. Hmm. Thankfully we have Hubert Rake to worry about and his warehouse filled with formaldehyde. Oh dear. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although... You've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. A vampire. Who, what are you? A higher vampire. vampire. Yeah. Higher, of course. It explains everything then. Why he's so young looking, so much younger than on Gratz and everything else. He even have a motive? Got a reason for killing, a reason to torture. Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them in a manner they'd be certain to notice. That's insane. You're out of your fucking mind. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, you You're are. You're a sick fuck. I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah, well. This conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item on the agenda. I last fought a Witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And you? Have you faced one of us? No, you couldn't have. You would not have survived. I, I I hate fighting these 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 things. And the door randomly opens on its own. That's that's really assuring. A uh, superior blizzard. Ooh. Can I somehow get up though? 
I mean, don't mind if I loot, but... Drenched again. I mean, sorry, my guy. That, that's how it usually goes with, you know, being out in the rain and all. Yeah, there is no way I can get up there. Can I go through here? No, let's put the sword away. And we can tell Dandelion about Priscilla's condition. We also have a level up. An ability point, a character point to spend. And before I forget it, let's do it. Let's... Uh... Fire stream. Exploding shield, alternate sign, active shield. Pushes opponents back when it breaks. That sounds kind of useful, actually. So let's grab that. And now let's. Whoa. Hello, poor townsman who just randomly popped up in front of me. Uh, where's the Valmerius Hospital? I think somewhere in the bits, if I'm not mistaken. But, mm. I know we have to, like, go over here and over here, definitely towards the bits. Ah, the weather is horrible. Oh, I've had enough of living. I've had enough of living. Well, I think a lot of people have in in the world of Witcher, sadly, because things are as they are, with war poverty and everything else. That's what I'm saying too. Like, screw the rain. Nobody likes the rain. There's some vendors over here. I don't think we've ever been actually in this part of the city. Oh, we have. This is Horson's Casino. Don't spit at me. That's unsanitary. I just pumped the laundry. Oh, and this is the school. And the hospital is this. Yeah, there it is. Well, Mary's Hospital. Um. Over here, Dandelion. Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah, the witch's way. Thank you, Geralt, for me and Priscilla. No need did my part. Now you need to look after her. Yeah, you, Dandelion, you need to step up and take care of Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. Good. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. No. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Oh, carnal sins are finally over. That's That was one roller coaster off of a quest and with these two lovebirds i think we will wrap this episode up so thank you so much for watching and uh being here for Geralt and i's adventures as always in case you like this video drop a like maybe even comment or even subscribe to the channel if you like the content i put out it would mean a lot to me and it will also help grow the channel now, if you want to follow me on my socials, they are listed down below. And that's it for, for me for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!